I appear to have stepped into a space anomaly, as it is now suddenly, um, Wednesday. The last recording was on Sunday. I have my phone somewhere. Of course, I also have a calendar right behind my back, so I could have just looked at that. Anyway, it's the 10th of April now. Um, yes, I totally stepped into a space anomaly. And suddenly it's, uh, you know, dark, rainy, and uh, it's a bit of thunder from time to time. Which I'm sure the game will gladly emulate. <laughs> Since, you know, it's me playing a stalker game. It would be surprising not to have rain everywhere. But at least it doesn't drop my frames now on, uh, now that I'm on a reasonably decent computer. I also discovered something a little or kind of cool. It kind of makes up for the shortcomings of this microphone. With the effects I have to have enabled for it to uh, not sound terrible, I can actually leave my fans on. It doesn't pick it up at all. Beautiful. Alright, so considering the area I'm walking in, I really should not be unarmed. Though I could probably just do a little bit of this and check. Despite the sound of dogs, we are in the clear. So as is uh, the usual for this uh, this playthrough specifically, which is partially why, you know, despite what happened last session, it's possibly one of my fav favorite uh, stalker playthroughs in terms of, you know, what I've done. Bit of a strange reflection. Uh, basically, it involved a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of artifact hunting, a lot of artifact selling, picking up ammo. I'm a walking armory, but when is that never or ever not the case? Not sure how this uh, dude here died out here. We'll give him a nice proper burial on top of the uh, fire pit. Anything here and. See, didn't I tell you? <laughs> Rain. Let's see, let's just keep this out anytime I'm remotely near an anomaly. And I totally didn't spend the time recording this level area just to say all the things I have been saying. No artifacts. I'm hoping I get a better, uh, better scanner or detector. From the scientists here at Yantar, I should have my primary. Whoa, whoa. You're not sure what was with that, uh, pause there. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. You come out. Or, is that right? Ah, oh, yeah. You seem to come out on this side of the map. Okay, I I'm just getting myself a little confused based on the layout differences between this and uh, SOC. I'm used to popping in this side. So I suppose I better protect these scientists here and uh, deal with a few zombifieds. Zombifieds that apparently have the uh, smarts to uh, crouch. It's a bit unusual. He's got some pretty damn good armor. Rush in and try to get these last ones. God damn, they tank a lot of damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, reload, reload. I'm, I'm being horribly reckless here. I'm... I really should not be underestimating the enemies here as much as I am. Like, <laughs> it's like I'm so used to uh, AMK. Oh, what a shame! The scientist died. It's like I'm so used to like AMK and really difficult mods that when I get around to playing something like, like this, I just get, I don't know. I guess I'm getting kind of cocky. 
Okay, nobody will buy a Spaz-12, I know that much. And frankly, I doubt even... Even if I tried to sell it to one of these scientists that's walking around just a pistol, they wouldn't buy it. That That's what my experience has shown me. Please don't stand in my way. I don't have any energy drinks. Oh, come on, guys. How many... How many of them could there possibly be? Whew. Zombified with a sniper. That's uh, pretty unheard of. What are you guys shooting at? There we go. Alright, I should also mention uh, something I forgot to mention last time. We'll get the DPI in the right settings. I did say I was going to turn the dyna dynamic music back to the Clear Sky uh, originals, since the mod seems to have chosen to call appropriate dynamic music for some reason, but... Uh, but the way the engine seems to work for Clear Sky and Call Appropriate, I don't know, when, whenever you remove sound files, it seems like it just loads a blank instead of the default. Which is kind of annoying considering, you know, in SOC, you know, when I want to remove some... When I, when, I, when, I, when I want to remove some blank files so people will actually say their lines, SOC will just go and read the original lines from the database folder. Kind of annoying. Hey, you've got a really terrible shotgun. And, of course, you won't buy a weapon off of me. Because you're brilliant. You're incredibly intelligent. You know, that PhD. <laughs> I swear, these people run around with their fancy PhDs and their anomaly detectors. They don't have the brains to pick up a better weapon. Or to hire some competent guards. What is it that you need? You've got nothing but a pistol, buddy. And you still won't buy anything. You've got to be joking. What about you stalkers? Well, they'll buy my I'm rifle, here. but I'm not selling that. You wow. How disappointing. <clears throat> oh, okay, that, that would explain it. I didn't expect the Groza to be in that bad condition. I've, that's when I was really banking on somebody buying. Oh, I, I also did fully upgrade and try the other 45 ACP pistols. Um, they all managed to get better accuracy than this one by a very small sliver. Maybe some better handling and rate of fire. But, uh, considerably less damage was dealt, so I decided they weren't worth it. What's up, stalker? Okay. I think I've already tried to sell him something. Let's just run over here, drop, pick up the dragon of. Don't know if I'll get any use out of it myself, but if I can, if I can find anybody to buy it, uh, He'll give me some money. Not that I really need it. You know, other than to repair. Of course, a lot of this is banking on this mod changing something such that there's actually somebody to buy from here. Oh, a blowout. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, well. I seldom see a new face here. So, what would you like to know? Yes, he visited us. He knew a great deal, far more than others. <laughs> he even claimed to have been to the center of the zone. Naturally, I didn't really believe him, even though he showed me some photographs. We made a deal with him. He promised to conduct field testing on one of our promising experimental models, a Psi emission blocker. And we promised to give him the final version in return. Strelog believed that the blocker would help him get through the brain scorcher. We gave him the prototype, and he went into the factory. That was the last we saw of Strelok and the prototype. If Strelok is in the factory, getting inside without a Psi protection device is virtually impossible. 
We have been studying the psi emissions originating from the factory for years. They have a pronounced pulse nature. When they are in their low phase, people go into the factory relatively safely. However, we are unable to predict when the next emission will take place, so going inside is like playing Russian roulette. If you decide to follow Strelok into the factory, you will most likely end up with your brains melted like most of the zombies around here. There is something which I may be able to do for you, however. Some time ago, I was contacted by a group of stalkers who managed to come out of the factory alive. They came across a technical documentation archive in one of the buildings. Those documents could shed light on what the factory contains and help us uncover the source of such powerful psi emissions. Help me find those documents, and I'll help you get inside the factory. The group went missing in the northwestern part of the facility. That area is full of zombies. I cannot send any stalkers who are guarding the perimeter, seeing as we're barely holding out against the attacks as it is. The SOS signal coming from there is still active, so please try to get the stalkers out if they're still alive. It's the deserted factory. It draws stalkers like a magnet because it is one of the few buildings they haven't reached yet. They say very rare artifacts and valuable equipment can be found inside. So stalkers keep trying to get in, hoping to strike gold. The trouble is that it's like playing Russian roulette. The psi field is extremely unstable. When it peaks, the emissions can melt a human brain in seconds. They have been giving us problems from the day this laboratory was set up. The walls are strong, but the howling and other racket from the outside is awfully disruptive. As you can imagine, carrying out research or even sleeping under these conditions is no easy task. On top of that, sometimes we have to leave the bunker to collect samples. We spent a long time considering this issue. Regardless of how much effort the military expended on clearing out the facility, zombies would always come back. It all became clear when a former assistant of mine, who went missing while taking measurements by the factory, was discovered among the zombies. It's the Psy Field. Everyone who is affected by it loses his mind and turns into a zombie. This happens as a result of irreversible damage to the higher functioning of the human brain. Ergo, these creatures cease being human. They have no cognitive abilities, and so their behavior is the result of whatever remains of their purely animal instincts. Well, that and the ability to use a firearm. I mean, I don't know about... I don't know of any animals that can, uh, you know, hold a rifle and pull the trigger. And know how to reload it. Poltergeist hand. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll... I'd rather not deal with the poltergeists, if at all possible. Please, come back sometime. Alright. Great. So the mod has not affected anything at all regarding uh, trading. But hey, I get a new uh, detector. The top of the line, best you can get... In this game, anyway. And, hmm. Well, if I still needed jellyfishes, I could uh, pick them up here, but... You know, the stone flower. Or maybe this is a special... Yeah, I'm, I'm just very delayed in thinking now that... Uh, maybe this is a special one, because it's a quest item. That it, and that's why it has this effect. Who knows? Who knows? I don't really remember its vanilla effect, and I don't feel like looking it up. So, yeah, can't sell anything here, can't repair anything here. You'd think the mod makers would have thought that that would be a good idea to uh, re-implement, or to upgrade. What a shame. Is there even a box to put stuff in? Oh. Alright, we got another zombie attack. I'm pretty sure there has to be a box around here somewhere. I just want to... Not so much this rifle, I don't really care about it. But I want to store the uh, you know, main s sniper I've got.
What are you shooting at? There's absolutely nothing there. Just slide down the hill. Is this a blowout warning or is this just the, uh... Hey, you're close to the Psy emission thingy. So we're going to give you intermittent effects. Honestly, not sure. What is that? 45 ACP. Got hundreds of rounds for it, but... Whatever, let's pick it up anyway. Oh, hello. God, I need to aim a bit better. Yeah, they should be able to handle those two over there, I think. I just kind of want to focus on this straggler back here. Thought I had more ammo. Damn! These things are absolute bullet sponges. It's getting a little ridiculous. Mission accomplished. So I'm wondering, who am I doing these missions for? I mean, clearly it's not for Sakharov because he's not giving me any uh, reward for it. If you've got something to say, say it. Oh, we lost another scientist. Give me your ammo that I'm gonna never use. Quiet, let's wait a little longer. What an asshole. Oh god, okay, I'm getting out of here. It's time to get out of here, stalker. Yes, step into the anomaly. <laughs> Ooh. Good little show. Goodbye. Where's the last straggler, right? I kind of want to gun him down. Also, I wonder what this part of the wall is for. It's like, it seems a little far away from everything else. So of course, let's uh, stand right next to the anomaly that completely destroyed everybody. It's entirely reasonable. I think they'll manage. PDA with documents. That's right, this is the one that's right next to the uh, easiest entrance to the Twilight Zone area. You know, imaginable. Tokarev? Interesting. I, mean, I don't think I'll be using it very much because I don't. I have high doubts that the. Uh, yeah. 762 by 25 I have high doubts that that sort of ammunition is going to be anything even remotely relating to uh, common. Let's just do this. Since I guess radiation minus two is going to be horrendously slow dealing with the issue. Still liking that sun effect. See, it's not the volumetric, but now is not the right time of day for that to work anyway. Oh yeah, we got the side dogs. No. Of course. I was hoping to be lucky enough to, you know, shoot down the real one first, but not today. Task failure. Are you... Serious? Wow. <laughs> wow. It's just amazing how incompetent the uh, guards there must be. Oh, it's a fake. It's a fake. Come on. Where's the real bitch? This must be it. Whoa. Just getting thrown around everywhere. And yet I'm taking no damage. <laughs> 
Awesome. Yeah, I think that was the real one. Yeah, as much ammunition as I have for that, let's, uh... Yeah, start using the pistol on these things. I found out when I was running around in the swamps before that... Okay, there's just ambient sound. It sounded a bit like a very loud zombie moan. I found out when I was in the swamps that the, uh... Bissell here is uh, pretty damn good as an anti-mutant uh, device. Now, of course, let's spend some extra time artifact hunting. Alright, Crystal, what are those two? Oh, this is Burn plus four. Sakrov had one of those, didn't he? Oh, I'll take that med kit. You never have too many. 